This is where a punch ends. But where does it actually start? From the shoulders, the hips, the legs, or none of them? In today's video, I'm speaking to Dr. Lucio Maurino, biomechanics expert and world karate champion. And he's gonna reveal exactly where a punch has to come from and how to do it well. Check it out. We can say that everything starts from our T-spine. Because this movement allows you to connect all the joints, pushing down the, the force, the ground force react to your body, and you can perform always maintaining this joint by joint approach. Because we have some uh, parts that are movers and some parts that are stabilizer yes. of the movement. Mm. Our T-spine is important because it's correlated to the activation of the scapula. So imagine scapula. Yeah. Lumbar spine and the base of the neck make like the activation, so they are designed to be stable, yeah. to, to, to let the T-spine move ah. and gives energy on the ground. So let's say somebody has a really stiff and constricted T-spine. Yeah. That will limit <laughs> their ability to generate and deliver power. Yes. How can we somehow open up and mobilize the T-spine? Do you have any quick, simple exercise that people could learn? Of course. Yeah. Two simple exercises. Yes. You go down this way. Okay. And from here, you, you try to, to feel, for example, the expansion during the inhalation, the expansion of the belly, and then the expansion of the chest. Then you breathe out, you exhale, and you go down first with the belly, and then down with the chest. So looking at you, through your belly, towards your belly, what do you feel when you go down? I almost had a little cramp yeah, in my T-spine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It means that uh, uh, maybe your diaphragm needs more of this work to make your tissues of the, of the diaphragm more uh, flexible. Next, th the other one, very, very simple, is to go laterally in this way. Okay. And maintaining this hand on the ribs and this one locking the knees in this way. Then from here, you breathe in and you turn outside. Ooh. Okay, Did you, you hear that? My spine is cracking. Yes, yes. It means that you are decompressing the joints. Then you exhale and you relax in this position. We gotta learn to move from tension mm. to extension. So okay. that's why when you have some issues, don't think about to stretch, especially mm -hmm. if you are stiff, mm -hmm. but think about to tense mm -hmm. and extend. Does this concept also apply to somebody who wants to do a punch? Yes, same concept. Don't think about to contract, to push something, no. but think about um, simply to extend completely mm. your arm and activating your, your scapula, thinking that your punch goes 10 meters more than the, the, the limit you arrive. So extension, mm. Mm. not contraction. Mm. But to, to extend well, you gotta have control of the stabilizer yes. that gives you the possibility to mm. you to activate the mobilizer of the movement. That My was pleasure. an amazing explanation. And always congratulations for your work. It's, uh, uh, that is always amazing. Oh, thank you so much, you're too <laughs> kind. Hope you guys enjoyed that.